from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. How to make your voice heard as the Henrico School Board prepares to make a decision about whether to go back to school or not, and a golfing legend claims a victory in Henrico. We'll have details about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Monday, October 19th, 2020. Today's News Minute is brought to you by the Steve Doughty Insurance Agency with State Farm. And now for the news. Well, the Henrico School Board on Thursday will make its decision about what the second nine weeks of school will look like, and you have a few chances and ways to submit your input about that decision. Two board members, Christy Kinsella of Brooklyn and Marcy Shea of Tuckahoe, will host a listening town hall tomorrow from 6 to 8 p.m. online. You can actively participate and provide input during the event by visiting tinyurl.com backslash listening-town-hall. If you want to observe the session without commenting, you can use the live stream link that will appear shortly before the event starts at henricoschools.us. The session also will be recorded for future viewing. Additionally, Verina District School Board member Alicia Atkins will host one of her regular virtual coffee and conversations meeting on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Attendees will be able to discuss with Atkins in person and virtual learning. You can visit our website, HenricoCitizen.com, and click on News and then Education. Look for this article to find a link to register for that event. Registration is required because space is limited. And additionally, you can submit written comments to the board anytime this week about its decision that's coming up on Thursday or any other matter that is of interest. You can also find that link by reading this article on our website. As most of the county's residents with children in public schools await the school board's decision this week, there is a group of students who already have returned to in-person learning in Henrico. And right now on HenricoCitizen.com, you can read our in-depth look at what that looks like for those students. At Springfield Park Elementary in Innsbruck, for example, about 30 students attend for two hours on the days they're invited. On Tuesdays, select kindergarten and second grade students attend, and then on Thursdays, first and third grade students do so. Participating students were selected for in-person literacy screening assessments based on their scores and virtual screeners, according to the school's principal, Tracy Spain. There are also about five exceptional education students who need help accessing virtual instruction, and they're also in the building to receive help. Also back are some students in career and technical education courses. Those that require hands-on learning to advance were the first chosen to receive in-person learning, such as EMT students and those involved in the CTE house building site, such as electrical, masonry, HVAC, and other similar trades. You can read much more about this by visiting HenricoCitizen.com and clicking on Education. Legendary golfer Phil Mickelson claimed the Dominion Energy Charity Classic yesterday in Henrico. It is his second win in just two career starts on the PGA Tour Champions, a tour for professionals 50 and older. Mickelson shot a final round 65 to beat Mike Weir by three strokes at 17 under par. The tournament served as a good tune-up for Mickelson, who will compete in the Masters next month in Georgia. Visit HenricoCitizen.com and click on Sports for photo galleries from both of the Pro-Am days last week, as well as both days of competition this weekend. The average number of new confirmed COVID-19 cases in Henrico during a moving seven-day window of time has nearly doubled in two weeks from about 16 per day October 3rd to just more than 30 per day October 17th. That's according to the Virginia Department of Health. Since the pandemic began, that number has peaked twice at 53 new cases a day, once on June 3rd and then again July 30th. Now, after the first peak, that number dropped dramatically for about a month, reaching a low of just more than 12 new cases per day, July 3rd. But then over the next month, it climbed dramatically and reached 53 a day again, July 30th. A similar trend appears to be taking place again, though this time it's been more gradual. The number of new cases per day had fallen or remained relatively steady with just two minor upticks during the two-month period from July 30th to October 3rd. 
but since then it has climbed rapidly again. On October 15th, Henrika reported its most cases in a single day, 49, since 53 were reported September 10th. Henrico's seven-day positivity percentage has remained relatively stable for about the past month. It's now at 3.7% as of the most recent day on record, which is October 14th. Well, in its search for a new nickname and mascot, Freeman High School has narrowed the choices to four. They are Mavericks, Trailblazers, Pioneers, and United. The school in August eliminated its Rebels nickname and has been working with members of the school community and VCU's Brand Center to develop new options. Each of the four nicknames was generated by a community member, according to Principal John Marshall, and in different ways, he says, fits the criteria that the community and students said they were looking for in a new name. The aim was to find a nickname and mascot that represent the school's core values of family, pride, excellence, intensity, diversity, community, independence, tradition, and leadership, according to Marshall. The new nickname will be announced the week of November 9th. Well, Henrico residents will be able to pick up free COVID-19 care kits at drive through distribution sites on Friday and Saturday this week. The kits will contain reusable cloth face coverings, as well as hand sanitizer and flyers with health information. You can pick them up at four Eastern Henrico locations. Those are Montrose Elementary, Mayfoot Elementary, Elko Middle School, and Dory Park. The hours will be 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Friday and 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday. The county already has delivered the care kits to more than 35,000 residences throughout Henrico, but some areas in Eastern Henrico were not covered by those efforts because they are more spread out. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by the Steve Doughty Insurance Agency with State Farm. You can save up to 30% with Drive Safe and Save. Contact Steve Doughty today at 788-9022 to learn more.